What you're watching is a Jacob's Ladder. It's created when a high voltage arc is formed between two conductors. Because the wires rise into the air and gradually get further apart, the arc climbs and widens, finally ending in a ball of flame. So how can you make one and where do you get this high voltage required? It all starts with a microwave. This is a transformer recovered from a non-working microwave. To generate the high voltage needed to power the microwave, this transformer converts 110 volts of house power into thousands of volts. The primary winding is this thicker wire. The secondary winding is made up of many more wraps of very fine wire. The wires from the secondary winding come out the front here, and in the back, it's attached to the transformer itself. So to power your Jacob's Ladder, connect one wire to the body of the transformer, and run it to one side of the Jacob's Ladder. Connect the other side to the loose wire coming from the secondary winding of the transformer. When you're ready to try it out, connect the power cord from the wall to the primary winding of the transformer. You're dealing with high voltages here, so exercise caution and never approach the Jacob's Ladder when the transformer is energized. In order to start the arc at the bottom, I used a dry dowel with a nail driven into the end. This allowed me to operate it from a safe distance. Good one. Go ahead and give it a try. Good one. Wait. Okay, go ahead. Yes, that was a good one. Thanks for watching my video.